We have new details on this violent attack on the CTA red line. Video shows two suspects hitting a man over the head with a wine bottle. Today, police released a new clue as well, hoping to track these two down. CBS 2's Asal Rezai live for us along the Dan Ryan tonight near the red line. Asal. Yeah, Joe, today it appears police may have an idea of who at least one of those suspects is. They've had help so far from CTA surveillance and one person who was on the train and recorded that video. I want to warn you, that video is hard to watch. This is cell phone video of the attack taken by a passenger on the train. It's not clear what happens in the moments before she began recording, but you can see here two people trying to rob an elderly passenger. At one point, one of them pulls out what appears to be a full bottle of wine from the man's pocket and hits him over the head with it. We've stopped the video there as the attack was extremely violent. Sunday night, police released pictures of these two people, a man and a woman, both between 25 and 30 years old. Now it appears they know who one of them might be. We feel that we've got a person of interest that we're looking to uh, uh, interview, uh, but we're, we're going to be needing the help of the uh, victim in this uh, incident as well. We reached out to the CTA. They called the attack reprehensible and say they are working with police on the investigation. Earlier this month, K-9 CTA units were deployed on the red line, specifically at the 95th stop. But the woman who took that video tells us she didn't see any officers, K-9s or even CTA workers on the train Sunday morning. This comes after the CTA recently signed a new contract with Action K-9 to provide up to 100 armed guards and 50 K-9s per day across CTA rail lines for at least 18 months. The Chicago police say they do not have an update on that victim's condition. They say right now they are looking for that person of interest with no one in custody at this time. I'm reporting along the red line on the Dan Ryan. That's all reside. CBS 2 News. That's all. Thank you.